fantastic show for you here tonight, a fully improvised show with the help of the Improv Broadway Band. <laughs> the game of Top That! Yeah. How this game works is our improvisers are going to be getting a motion from you. Um, who here uh, does a, who here plays a sport? You, sir. What sport do you play? Spike ball. Spike ball. <laughs> Officially recognized by the Olympics as a sport. Um, <laughs> Can you stand up and show us one spike ball move? Sure. You ready? Yes. Okay. We're going to have Brady and Jake start. Great. Woo! Uh, they're going to go back and forth justifying what they're doing. If they can't think of something, we're going to switch it out. So, uh, Brady, why don't you start us off? I'm playing spike ball, top that. <laughs> I'm getting a hair off my hand, top that. Uh, I'm reaching into the pool to see if it's cold, yep, top that. <laughs> I'm reaching into the hot tub to get my Band-Aid, top that. <laughs> uh, I'm a religious figure and I'm reaching down to bless the people that have come to see me talk. <laughs> Top that! I'm an atheist and I'm grabbing some sins to <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we're, we're gonna rotate Jake out. He's fine, he's fine, we got him. He's on our side. All right, I need, uh, who else, who, who else uh, does a physical activity? Uh, you ma'am, you ma'am. What? Volleyball. You play volleyball. Can you stand up and show us a volleyball move? <laughs> <laughs> Adam, start us off. I'm playing volleyball, top that. I'm looking at an abstract art piece and I just get it now. <laughs> top that. I'm crowd surfing Simba on Pride Rock, top that. <laughs> I'm taking my negative feelings about my, my childhood and I'm projecting them onto the people out here. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Top that. I'm a, a leprechaun throwing a kickball to play kickball to someone who's a normal sized person. Top that. Uh, this is my way to, sh to dance the, all the single ladies. <laughs> that, that is not the right way. We're going to rotate Brady House. Round of applause, very good. Participa participates in a physical activity. Doesn't have to be a sport, could be anything. Ultimate Frisbee, ultimate frisbee. who's, you do that? Yeah. yeah, stand up and show us an ultimate Frisbee move, sir. Yeah. Oh, Whoa, <laughs> nice. <that's ultimate>. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, start us off. I'm playing ultimate Frisbee, top that. I'm backhanding that guy, top that. <laughs> frisbee. I'm freeing all the Oompa Loompas, top that. I'm counting, but not that high. <laughs> top that. I'm tossing my debit card to my wife on the second row of the mall, top that. <laughs> I'm tossing a garter at the creepiest part of the wedding, top that. <laughs> ma'am and show us a firefighter move. Oh, you're a firefighter. <laughs> Sir, what is a firefighter move? Oh. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Physical activity. You gotta flex. So you do it. Yeah. What do you think I've been doing this whole show? <laughs> uh, Jake! Start us, start us off. Top that. 
I'm every white person when Into Club comes on. <laughs> Deleted scenes. How the game of deleted scenes works is I'm going to get movies from you, our audience, and our improvisers are going to jump out and show you scenes that were deleted from that movie. <laughs> so what I need over here is give me an epic movie. A Avengers yeah. Endgame. Yeah. The the Top Gun is the first one I heard. Deleted scenes from Top Gun. Goose, you never knew about your family. Moose, noose, loose, truce, caboose, hoose, and, 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 and loose again. We're playing volleyball. <laughs> Top Gun. Top Gun up. That's where I put my gun. <laughs> hey, Goose, you want to do something later? <laughs> it was a real goose. You'll never fly. Oh, Take my breath away. Oh, my God. Brady loves that movie. Uh, give me another uh, another movie that made. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Deleted whoa. scenes from. Whoa. <laughs> Deleted scenes from Jurassic Park. As you see here in this egg, we took ancient dinosaur DNA and filled in the gaps with Furby DNA. <laughs> She's sick. <laughs> Definitely sick. <laughs> this is deleted for a reason. <laughs> high fives all around. High fives, high fives, high fives, high fives. Good, those are, those are good. <laughs> Over here, give me a, give me a... I've got two. Uh, we're going to start with Snow White. Excuse me, consent? I'm sorry, Snow White, but polygamy is not allowed here in this country. You're going to have to move to Mona, Utah. I'll just stick with Dopey anyways. Drunky. <laughs> you're the witch. Let's get that witch. Uh, hi ho, that's what I say. Next one I heard was Free Willy. No, you're going to have to jump high. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't carry yourself over that ridge, Mr. Willy. But I can! <laughs> Willie, our relationship has been something very unique and very special. Allow me to say my vows first. I have to let you go. No, don't speak. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no! Good. Uh, they speak through their mouths. Yeah, balls, through huh? their mouths. <laughs> that is so wrong. Uh, uh, give me uh, another movie everybody has seen. Good. 
Good. I don't think everyone's seen this, but the fact that he said it made me happy. Charlotte's Web. Let's see. It says bacon. <laughs> a swine is a swine and mustn't tasty meat, tasty meat, tasty meat. Some pig. As just a regular, illiterate teenager. Ow! Oh my gosh, I can read now. <laughs> <laughs> it just spells out some pig each time. <laughs> Wait, the spider's spelling something out. Taxation is theft. The web says, Uncle Ben, I killed Uncle Ben. <laughs> what a plot twist. Good, uh, good uh, give me another classic movie. Gone with the Wind. Frankly, Charlotte, I don't give a damn. That water's gonna have to hold up itself. I got something to say to you. Okay. <laughs> and the most asked for one of the night, Princess Bride. <laughs> wav, twu wav, fighting, twu fighting, <laughs> divorce, twu divorce. <laughs> I see you're the six-fingered man. <laughs> nope, normal hands here. Good, because I had the whole speech prepared. If you press on his chest, he speaks the words of his heart. <laughs> Let me press harder, words will come out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, right, I'll go to that movie with you. Oh, so good. <laughs> this machine is interesting. Instead of sucking life, I suck income. I've just sucked 30% of your income away. <laughs> I'm gonna do this on a yearly basis. Now tell me, how do you feel? Dietation is theft. <laughs> uh, give me another big movie. Grease. Deleted scenes from Greece. I got chills down my left side. I think it's a stroke. Game right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another game coming for you right away. This is the game of nine out of 10. Sunk it. In the game of nine out of 10, we have four experts. What's gonna happen is we're gonna have Adam start out for us, and they're going to be giving us a, a discourse or a lecture on a topic that many people aren't experts on. Uh, give me a topic. Any topic. Wizard of Oz, I heard Wizard of Oz. <laughs> The back line can object to something that Adam says or whoever is in the front says, and I will either sustain or overrule. Um, and we're gonna take it from there. Adam, take it away. The movie The Wizard of Oz was actually based on a book, which was actually based on an ancient scroll. That <laughs> scroll was found near the Dead Sea. The Dead Objection. Sea. Objection. Yes. It was the Alive Sea back then. <laughs> that is true, sustained. In order to be dead, one uh, must be alive, just like the witch in The Wizard of Oz is now dead, but was once alive. We see that the, the anatomy of witches was H2O dissolves their skin because they are a rare subspecies of, of cotton candy. 
there. Objection. Yes. Sounds a little racist to me. I don't think so. Overruled. Some have uh, questioned the uh, ethics of uh, labeling Objection. witches. Objection. Yes. All of us have. Everyone. I don't think that's the right movie. Overruled. But I digress. The Wizard of Oz is an allegory of the human condition. Dorothy, a struggling young girl to find her own place, whipping around in a tornado and killing some crazy bee. Uh, <laughs> bee, of course, standing Objection. for- Objection! Yes! There was not a single bee in that entire tornado that wouldn't have survived. The That's true, sustain! <laughs> Bees have been dying off at an alarming rate. <laughs> Objection! Yes. I think it's a great rate. I hate them. I'd like you to defend your point. Sustained. <laughs> hey, let's have a great picnic. Oh, wait. There's a bee. It wants to fly by your sandwich. Oh, what's Objection. that? They're dying yes. off? Uh, I'm currently not eating any gluten, so it would be a salad. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Sustained. You gotta go with mixed greens. Some people say, you should go with kale, but kale tastes awful. <laughs> and so you wanna make Objection. sure- Objection! Zach. You know what else was awful? The Wicked Witch of the West. Sustained, I'd like to hear more. Back on point. <laughs> wicked, what does wicked Objection. mean? Objection. Yes. Kale is also green. Sustained, yes! <laughs> Did you know that you can throw water on kale and it will disappear? Yeah. Flakes. Objection. Yes. It's a plant. That's the opposite. You throw water on it, it grows. Sustain, it does grow. Basic photosynthesis. It absorbs yes. into the roots. Photosynthesis is the thing with the sun and the plants and the growing and the food for but, the plants. But not water. Sustained. Very good, Jake. That's all I have. Oh, back to you, Zach. You see, within the Wizard of Oz, at first it is black and white. The sun is Objection! Missing. Yes. The wizard is also green. He is on the big screen. Oh, he, that's true. Sustained. The wizard was also made of kale. This is the allegory of what we must fight against and unite ourselves against. Objection! Yes! Uh, my mustache more closely resembles, re resembles the uh, guard Objection, at he's remumbling. Yes, he... <laughs> Zach, you're in point. Very good. 30 seconds. We see that the Wizard of Oz is a big social commentary on race. The Wizard of Oz was also a member of the Kale, Kale, Kale. Uh, no. <laughs> right there, Kale! and Zach are going to be uh, announcers uh, for the Olympics. And uh, Brady and Jake are going to be participants in an Olympic sport, uh, and they're gonna break down, be the color commentary. However, uh, we need an Olympic sport that doesn't exist for Brady and Jake to participate in. Got it. Uh, the, the beautiful game of leapfrog. As your suggestion, Zach and Adam, take it away. Hello and welcome back to the 2019 and a quarter Olympics. My name is Chet O'Ransomen. Uh, yes, and my name is a Mandatory Foreigner. Welcome. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, what an amazing event that we have today. One that has never been seen until today, the classic game of Leapfrog. Leapfrog, not to be confused with Leap Toad, which is more famous where I come from. Where was that again? It's an ambiguous location. Just like we practiced. 
Uh, we've got two of the greatest contestants over, over there on the east side. We have all the way from Russia, Benjamin Batrovsky, the champion leapfrogger. They said he leaped out of his mother's womb straight into the arms of his dad. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, he has had reconstructive surgery replacing his own legs with those of frogs themselves. And let's not forget all the way over from Ireland, Dusky O'Hannigan. This man originally started with leapfrogging when he was only 40 years old. He's 92 and a half now. He's not, he doesn't get much height, but what he makes up in vertical distance, he makes up with punches to the face. He also created his signature move, the underfrog, which I hope to see here today. Oh. Oh, it looks like we're getting ready, and the person uh, that has the, uh, the participants at their marks, and there's the gun. Oh. Oh, they're starting with two completely different forms. We see that, we see that the, uh, the we see that the frogman himself has, has actually reached down to, to bless the opponent, which he has leaped up. <laughs> Dusky uh, appears to be doing his classic feint of having a heart attack on the, the track. Oh, it would, it would seem as though he's, oh, at this point, he's actually trying to unhin his jaw, just like those African frogs to try to swallow up that competition. He's gonna bite his kneecap. Uh, strong move, strong move. Classic dusky move. Okay, oh, but if I know anything, I think we've seen a reverse and we're ready for the under frog if I can, oh, there it is, yep. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this, it's so beautiful. It's amazing how he can complete three rotations right through the canal. The Russian is remembering his birth. It's incredible, he reverts back to tadpole status to try to leapfrog through. Oh, and that's gonna be, it's, oh no, and the Russian's leg is snapped off. <laughs> Luckily, his amphibian genes will allow it to grow back very quickly. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely regenerated, but it seems as if the whole playing field has been pulled out from under them and it's actually water itself. This is incredible. He's lifting them up in the classic chokehold fashion. Yeah. But he pauses because, oh, what's that on, on, on Dusky's back? It's a slew. <laughs> It's a slew of eggs they have made it. <laughs> oh my gosh, we can see the frogs hatching all from out of his body. They're rippling out of his shirt. They're all leaping over free willy style. This is the most beautiful Olympics I've ever seen. You know, this, this whole move was actually rated illegal last games, but they brought it back as a fan favorite, and I'm questioning that decision now. I'm afraid that the Russian is giving into his instincts and is about to eat his own young. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, oh, I've seen this one. It's the plagues of Egypt. He's seen the frogs. And now he's pu pulling out flies as well. Oh, but they finally come back to the sport itself of leapfrog. See <laughs> right there. <laughs> Got another game coming your way with buzzers and bells. <laughs> the game of buzzers and bells works this way. Our improvisers are going to be doing a scene. At any point during that scene, I'm going to cue the band. One, uh, Jake is going to give us a butum ch. That means they have to come up with a new line. We will then hear a very pleasant bell sound which means that line has been accepted and they can progress on in the scene. What I need is, uh, what's your favorite thing in the whole wide world? Um, chocolate. Yes, chocolate. Chocolate. Somebody two rows away knows you that well. <laughs> she gave me a Hershey bar! Uh, it's chocolate and distance. Those yes. are the two things. Your suggestion is chocolate. Take it away. Well, I'm sorry, Charlie. You <laughs> stole that Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I, I just thought that now that Grandpa Joe is out of the bed, they needed a new bedmate. And he doesn't take up much space. It was for my grandparents. Can't you understand? It was still a, a charitable thing. 
I can't understand that. I get it. You lying. Charlie, that was the weird convoluted rationale I was looking for for the next person to run my factory. Grandpa Joe, Grandpa Joe. Hey there, Charlie. Just got done hiding the evidence. Just got done using the restroom. I think he's selling people into slavery. I saw that German kid eat that other girl that turned into a blueberry. Oh, oh my gosh, the insurance for this place alone is gonna be outrageous. Good thing I have my license. It's, a, it's Why? expired. <laughs> Good thing I got my AARP car. <laughs> I've been live tweeting this whole thing. <laughs> the jig is up, Mr. Wonka. <laughs> No, Grandpa, it's, it's our chocolate factory now. Yeah, you can pull that trigger. Don't shoot. I got 50 Loopa Loopas <laughs> surrounding this room. You pull that, you pull that trigger, they'll be on your knees so quick. Not on my knees, that's why I couldn't walk for so long. Yeah. So why don't you think about that before he's tried stealing my chocolate? Grandpa, don't do it. Please. <laughs> Grandpa, take us both if you take one. <laughs> take my knees if anyone's knees. <laughs> Fizzy lifting, drink us away, quick. <laughs> I was the one who ate the blueberry woman. <laughs> Charlie! Charlie, no! There was a human being! It was part of his test, okay? If you're not rabid to devour any kind of candy, you don't deserve to run a factory. And I am! All I saw was a blooming being. <laughs> there was a giant pie that she looked so good for. I could barely lift her as I, too, am now becoming a blueberry from consuming her juice. <laughs> Give it up, ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen, we got one more game for you. This is the game of For Your Consideration! <laughs> okay. We're gonna get the title to a musical that doesn't exist. Give me a title. Nope, not that one. <laughs> Tinsel Town. Tinsel Town is your suggestion. Uh, what we have are uh, two hosts of an award show, and then they're going to introduce songs that are going to be performed by Zach and Jake. Take it away! Wow, wow. Uh, I can't believe I just let that one slip right past the goalie. It's a good thing you can't smell. Welcome back. Uh... <laughs> Uh, welcome to the Tonys, of course. So uh, it's it's me here every year, Jake Chesterson. Uh, and I'm Chester Jackson. <laughs> every year I'm stuck with him just because her names sound funny to the producer, but that's okay. You know, I'm all right with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are. You know, it's worth it. It's worth it to me for the sake of the art of the musical, and especially this year. Yes. Oh. It's one of those things that you feel you you can feel warm inside all year round. It doesn't matter if it's if it's the the correct time of of year or not. You can just feel the energy coming from this musical, Tinseltown. Oh. Absolutely amazing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> huh. I could have said it better myself, but I won't. <laughs> uh, 
Tinseltown is a beautiful story. Fantastic. Beautiful story set in a small quaint house on Christmas Eve where the family is gathered around decorating the tree, but of course there's one little boy who doesn't seem oh. to like tinsel. Oops. <laughs> he doesn't believe in that little dangly stuff that goes on the tree. He doesn't oh. think that makes a Christmas tree. <laughs> it's the strangest thing. He just has zero beliefs in tinsel. And in the first song, you hear this beautiful, beautiful introduction. He tells you all the things he does believe in, but not tinsel. That's right. <laughs> this song is called, I Believe. Climate change, yeah, it's real. <laughs> or so I believe. <laughs> Government corruption, it's what I see. Every major religion, from Hindu to Islam. I believe in loving every dad, child, and mom, but none of that. Super dead and oh, I believe. You know, he recites scriptures from every single religious book, uh, but we couldn't do that for copyright yeah. reasons. Yeah. Some people call this musical divisive, other people mm. also say the same thing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And to have a, to have a protagonist to, uh, that doesn't like Tinsel is not enough for this heartwarming tale. Uh, we also see the ghost of Tinsel present. He shows up and tries to convince this young man that he is real, and he does it by any means necessary. Oh, yeah. And he really tries to push the Tinsel, just push it. And you'll, you'll get what I mean when you hear this song. Tinsel, tins by. <laughs> such a hit, it's been translated in over 200 languages. <laughs> and each language nails that song. It's all about the subtext. It's, it's really there. Really, there's just a lot implied by the moaning and gurgling and shrieking. People take away their own meaning. Yeah. At the first, though, I was like, he's got to stop soon. <laughs> But that's, that's no. the thing that makes this show oh. brilliant. Incredible. He spends one minute per language that it's translated in. <laughs> we couldn't show it all because of copyright reasons, but it's over 200 minutes long. Right. But what we can show you is the final epic number where it turns Boom. out the boy learns that he has glaucoma. And that <laughs> <laughs> Easily cured. He, he just also... hasn't been able to see the tinsel. <laughs> and as we know with Christmas, seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. In this, in this rousing number, you see the ghost of tinsel present, you see the boy that doesn't believe, and you see that his eyes become open for the first time. And he starts to tell you all the things that he does believe, mm -hmm. and the ghost of tinsel path, the present, <laughs> confirms those things, and then just melts away inside of the boy. It's absolutely incredible. Let's hear it. Oh, you're real, 
smile. I can't believe it. You are right here by my newly cured eyes. You're real. Oh, I can see it. Oh, what a strange surprise.